right, today we are gonna be doing meal prep for overnight oats. I know you guys have heard about these. Come on, they are all over Pinterest, right? If you haven't already done it, I'm gonna show you the how-to now, and it is so basic, super easy, but the best part is it allows for versatility. Once you get this down, you are gonna be whipping up overnight oats all the time because there's so many variations. So I'm gonna open Pandora's box today and we are gonna get started. This is a quick grab on the go breakfast and this is also fantastic if you wanna get your kids involved, guys, because there's no oven, no heating up necessary. Uh, you know, they can have fun with it, put in their favorite fruits and that sort of stuff. And like I've said before, if you get the kids involved, they are so much more likely to try it. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cute little mason jars, just because they're cute. Use any container that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my oats. Now you can add, I typically, with these smaller mason jars, I'll add about a third cup of oats, um, but you can go ahead and add a half a cup if you're using a little bit larger of a container. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a third cup to each one of these. And then we are going to add in our fruit flavors. Okay, this is where I mean, come on, there's endless possibilities. Think outside the box, guys. It doesn't need to be just fresh fruit. Now I happen to have some fresh bananas, which you can get any time of the year, right? You wanna to tend to eat in season. That's when it's gonna be the sweetest and the freshest. Uh, I've got some strawberries here in season right now, but if they're not, go ahead and get some good frozen strawberries. I actually have some frozen blueberries here right now because the blueberries are not so good at the store. I got myself some really yummy um, blueberries and they're delicious. So those are the three fruits we're going to be using today. Start thinking about the fruits that you like. If you like pineapples and they're not in season, get a really good pineapple in a can with 100% juice, none of that yucky stuff added in, and go for it. So two, two of these, I'm going to add in the equivalent of about a half of a small banana. And my jars are a little small, small so I'm going to really squish it in there. There we go, we got our banana. To the other two, I'm gonna add the equivalent of about two decent sized diced strawberries. Let's don't lose those two. And then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of some frozen blueberries to my last two. And once we get this fruit in, then we're gonna talk about all the wonderful things that we can add to this. It's gonna be great as is, but there are so many things we can, we can add to up the, the nutrient density of all of these guys and really give you that, uh, you know, that staying power that's not gonna give you that dip right after breakfast. So go ahead and add in those berries. Boop, let's wipe that down right there. Now, for the additions. Okay, so when I say this, I mean things like pecans, papitas, pumpkin seeds, raw cacao. This is really good if you want like that chocolate flavor, some slivered almonds, I've got cashews. Today I'm gonna to be using chia, but by all means, black seed, hemp seeds, all of these are absolutely fantastic. And if you ask me, it's a must in these because they're so easy to add in and they add so much good fiber and so many vitamins and minerals. I mean, it's not even worth mentioning. Just add it, okay? So to each one of these, I'm gonna add about a half to a tablespoon of chia seeds. Super easy. Now let's add in a little bit of sweetener. So today I'm just gonna be using an agave, organic agave. A pure maple syrup would be fantastic. You can also use honey. Sweetener of choice, whatever you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in the equivalent of about a tablespoon to each one. If your berries or whatever fruit you're using for whatever reason is not in season and it's all you got and they're not super sweet, you might wanna up the sweetener just a little bit. So now that we've got the base, go ahead and we're gonna add in our uh, milk. And again, we're gonna be adding the same amount as we did our oats. So like I said, I used about a third cup. So I'm gonna do about a third cup of unsweetened almond milk in each one. And again, here's another way that this can be super versatile, guys. 
If you like coconut milk, if you like oat milk, if you like soy milk, if you like rice milk, whatever milk, go ahead and add that in. I suggest using unsweetened so you can actually uh, adjust the sweetener yourself, but hey, you're in the driver's seat here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in. I'm just gonna top these off. And then last but not least, the creme de la creme. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more flavor. We're gonna up the ante here. Now with my blueberries, I find that lemon um, zest just adds this amazing flavor, almost makes it taste like a blueberry cobbler. So I zested about a half of a lemon here. So I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest to these two blueberry overnight oats. And then for my strawberries, I thought it'd be fun to add like a nice crunch texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just some chopped pecans. I'll add about a half tablespoon to a tablespoon in each. And then bananas, I mean, what's better than peanut butter and bananas together? Now you can use a nut butter uh, of your choice, almond butter, cashew butter, whatever it is, but go ahead and add in about a tablespoon to each one. And that looks really, really good. These things are super yummy. All right, so I've got that flavor. You could keep going. I mean, there's cinnamon, there's vanilla, there's the raw cacao seeds, whatever it is, guys. Go ahead and experiment with different flavors, different fruits. Believe me, once you get it down, it's gonna take you seconds to prep these guys and your belly will be thanking you as well as your body. So after that's done, you're just gonna top them, give it a quick shake, and we're gonna pop these in the oven, or not in the oven, no oven. No oven required. These are overnight oats, okay? So we're gonna pop these in the refrigerator. And when you wake up manana, these guys are done. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful, beautiful. So simple, take them with you on the go, Kids lunches, bada bing, bada boom. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for our next meal prep. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. I mean, they're just so cute, right? It's like a, just a little jar of heaven. The kids love this part too. Just shake it. Just let them shake it, you know? Nothing else. You might want to make sure you're not using the glass jars.